All right, everybody, Greg Pruitt here with Anno Dispatch, and today I am sitting down with Representative Ron Nate. So if you could, for the folks, just let them know which party you're with, which district you are from, and kind of where that covers, and we'll go from there. Sure. I'm Representative Ron Nate. I cover District 34, Seat B, and that is all of Madison County, north, <coughs> excuse me, the, the north part of Bonneville County as well. And uh, I'm with the Republican Party. I'm one of the conservative members of the Idaho House, and I'm eager to get to work in 2021. All right. So, and you've been here before. You just won re-election, sort sure. of. <laughs> you would you call it re-election? I served for two terms, um, have two years off uh, handed to me, and then I'm back in the house now, and I'm, I'm eager to do some some good things for us. Okay. So, uh, from your perspective, what are what are the things that you want to see happen this session overall? And then, what are some things maybe that you're trying to work on on behalf of your constituents? Well, myself and Senator Christy Zitto have been uh, spearheading a, a project called the Idaho Conservative Agenda for 2021. And in that, what we're trying to do is uh, identify specific areas where we can work on this legislative session. And uh, it's important to have our ducks in a row early because we understand there's rumors about shortening the session or whatnot, so we want to be ready. Our agenda includes lowering taxes, reducing government, and restoring freedoms to Idahoans. Key parts of that are repealing the grocery tax um, and another key part is to rein in the governor from his unconstitutional overreach and his uh, unconstitutional emergency declarations. So we need to uh, clarify the distinctions between the legislative and the executive branch, make sure that uh, the governor is not doing legislative things. The legislature is responsible for appropriations. The governor has, has uh, um, illegally appropriated $1.25 billion of grants that have come into Idaho. That's really the legislature's job. So those are some of our priorities. I'll show you the conservative agenda. This is what it looks like. If uh, you want to get a copy of this, contact your conservative representatives and senators. They have them. If you contact your representative or senator and they say they don't have one, ask them why they're not conservative. Ask them why they're not signed on to the agenda and explain uh, which of these items that uh, that they're not in support of. So I want to go back just briefly. You had mentioned that Governor Little had, you know, illegally, essentially spent this money all on his own. And so, just for you know the people watching, you know, what you know, what laws would you cite as the reason that he had done so illegally? And, and do you think he'll be held accountable if he has done so? Well, I think that, and this is not the first time it's happened. He consulted with our Idaho Attorney General, and the Attorney General. Um, tr tried to read the statutes and the Constitution, um, for lack of a better term, as liberally as possible to give the governor as much uh, um, power as they, they possibly could advise him on. And I, I think they, they misread it. He can declare an emergency for 30 days and extend it for another 30, and that's it. He can't do more than that. As far as appropriations, that's clearly a legislative authority. Um, he did uh, form, this is the irony of this, he had formed an ad hoc committee to help him with his appropriation decisions. The, uh, the citizens of Idaho have already elected legislators who have a committee called the Joint Finance and Appropriations Committee, which, whose specific responsibility is to appropriate monies. It is legislative. Okay. So, uh, you know, Joe Biden uh, looks like he will be inaugurated on January 20th, and Democrats will have full control of, of Congress at that point. Um, yeah. What is what are some of the have you had concerns or what are some of the concerns you've had going into session in regard to what's happened nationally versus what people want to see yeah. here in Idaho? Well, I always have concerns of federal overreach. Um, regardless of which party seems to be in control, they still want to control the states, even more so in a Democrat administration with a Democrat House and a Democrat U.S. Senate. We need to be extra vigilant at the state level. Uh, we've seen states. Uh, thumbed their nose at federal law before. States like Colorado and Washington have said, we're going to write our own marijuana laws. Um, we have important issues that Idaho needs to be just as vigilant on, and that is uh, the, the freedoms in Idaho that we want to protect. The, uh, um, you know, the federal government tends to want to buy your favor with, with federal monies. Well, maybe we should uh, hold on to the money and uh, let the government try and beg for it from us instead of the other way around. We have a lot of work to do to defend ourselves from federal overreach. We know it's coming. Awesome. All right, Representative, anything else you want to add to either the citizens of Idaho or to the people in your district? Um, 
stay involved. If, if you're just if you think that your representatives and senators are are always looking out for you, um, it doesn't always turn out that way. You need to have them working for the citizens and not working for the system. So keep in touch with your representatives and senators. Know what they're doing in Boise and let them know that you want lower taxes, less government, and more freedom, and that you want the governor to be reined in. Uh, do that, and uh, we're going to have some good results in 2021. Thank you.